Hey, he's going. I don't normally say my name because I'm only doing these videos for, for like family and friends and stuff like that because we live you know a couple of hours drive from everybody and we don't see them very often they always ask me how we go how we're going out here and what I've been up to and stuff like that or what Jade and I have been up to so um but my name's Shane and um yeah I, you know I've noticed that there's maybe a couple other people watching them and stuff like that but yeah that's why I don't sort of get into all the big intro stuff at the start of the videos and all the rest of the carry on. But we got a, um, a package in the mail uh, a couple of days ago and I've been sort of sweating on it a little bit because me, me other saw is broken and we're, the forecast is for some really cold weather next week. And we've got heaps of wood, but um, like, you know, a week of um, a miserable weather like they're saying it's going to rain and carry on and all that sort of stuff and be really cold and everything but where you're just sort of sitting around and can't do anything and all you're thinking about is oh well i wish i'd cut more wood or whatever for whatever reason you know like so but my new saws finally turned up which i only took it didn't take them long to send it out to be honest with you i ordered it on a saturday there was a public holiday on the monday and then it turned up on the following monday so it took them like five working days basically to have it at my door which is pretty bloody good. But um, yeah, I'll spin it around, give you a look at it. Here it is. So we'll pull this thing out of the box. That's what it is. Which, you know, I've done my homework on um, saws and pretty much your all round saw for, you know, most most things where like firewood cutting and all that people say that like around about a 62 cc saw is enough enough saw i run a 20 inch bar i work with a guy that'll only run 18 inch bars and then other people prefer 24 inch bars so this this saw here you can buy with a 24 inch bar if you want to so um see how we go with this probably not real good because i'm Doing it all one-handed. This knife isn't too bad, but that's the obvious with the bar on the top. Yeah. Probably should have made it a bit easier for myself and had all this done off camera. We'll get Joe down here to look at that, get a tool kit with it, eh? It's all right. Oh, file and everything. Awesome. Lucky they taped it up or it would have fallen out. Look at that. Brand new file. I've got a heap of them anyway, but it's just you can never have enough, I suppose. Cool. Kit. Orange handles on all my knives, so when I drop them, I can find them again. Wow. It's huge, isn't it? Another file. It's another file. I'll have to read. I'll have to read what's going on with that. Look at that. They even give the Allen keys to put them on. Well, that's cool. Look at that instruction book. Mix bottle. This saw here delivered to my door. I don't know where they are. I just ordered it off their website. You guys all know who the website is. Um, was exactly two hundred dollars, and that was shipped to me to my door. So pretty good. 
Only thing I can't see is my chain. Maybe it's in here. Oh yeah, there it is, it's in there, I can feel it. Sorry about the wobbling around. It's hard doing it all one-handed, but there it is. It's a new saw. Check it out. It looks awesome. Awesome. Three point five horsepower. Got the good filter in it. Two hundred bucks. Seriously. Got a decompression lever on this one too, apparently. Maybe that was the bigger models. I might be wrong. Oh, yeah, look at that, there's your spanner for adjusting your chain. Anyway, I'll put it together. We'll bang some fuel in it. And um, I'll do another quick video with the, the bar and the chain opened up, and then, but it's just impossible to do it one-handed. There's a bar, 20-inch bar, the chain. Hopefully it'll zoom up on the... That's the chain. I get three of these chains delivered to me door for about 60 bucks, I think it is. And they are pretty good chains. So, all right, I'll throw it all together. All right, that's it, she's all put together. It didn't take long. Um, hang on a second here. Yeah, it didn't take too long. That, oh, but I put a bit of grease in the bar, um, put the bar on, tighten it all up, 10 or 15 minutes. So I've got fuel in it, there's bar oil in it, everything's ready to go, so we'll, um, yeah, we'll give her a fire up, first fire up, see how that goes. Prime them up a little bit. Quick choke out, make sure the start button's on.
that's it. We're um ready to go. Ready to go and cut some firewood. I was going to go and do some, but it's getting a bit late now. The days are really getting real short now, so um, um didn't take too many pulls to get it going. I think it was about 10 from brand new out of the box. First time it's ever had fuel in it, so can't wait to get it down here and cut up some wood. We might do that tomorrow. I'm going to shorten these videos down anyway because for some reason they seem to take forever to load up, but um, yeah. And here's the old saw, the original. She's um, we're waiting on a carby for that one. And he's like saying sometime in June or July, which is a pain in the backside, but um, it is what it is. Oh, here we go. Which is, I want to compare them side by side, even though this one's two years old and been absolutely thrashed. But I've, um, hopefully there'll be room for me to put in, because I actually videoed what this one was doing and then forgot to put it in the last video. So hopefully there'll be room in this video for me to put it in there. Oh, well, that'll do it. I'll, um, I'll get it out down there hopefully tomorrow on the weekend or something. Tomorrow's Friday, so maybe on the weekend or something and we'll thrash through some hardwood and see how this thing goes. I'm, I sort of can't wait, to be honest with you. All right, have a good one. Happy day. <laughs>